I get asked from time to time a question about what to do when you feel uninspired, whether it's because you're staring at a blank page and don't know what to write, wanting to start something new but don't know what, looking to create a hobby but don't really have anything that you enjoy, whatever it is when you're feeling that uninspired, stuck kind of feeling, what do we do? And so I'm going to offer just, I think, four ideas for you on what I think can be helpful, starting with mindfulness. So when you have those moments, especially when it's like staring at a blank screen, but also just feeling in action, feeling that stuck feeling. Sometimes it's because we are caught up in the past, what we've done in the past in this situation, what we did wrong, hoping not to repeat patterns, not wanting to make the same mistake, or in the future, what will this mean? Where will this go? Am I making the right choice? What will be the outcome? And that can give us a lot of tension because we're not in the moment. We can't look objectively in the moment at the decision or what it is we're wanting to do. And so mindfulness is a great way to release that and bring us back into the moment so that we can take action from a place that does is not encumbered by the past and the future. So I have other videos on mindfulness. I think I just did one about some simple ways to do mindfulness, but one of those might just be a matter of breath work, taking some deep breaths in those moments to bring ourselves back to recenter can also be running through the five senses. What do I smell, taste, hear, feel, and see right now? Finding whatever mindfulness technique tactic works for you, but something to bring you into the present. Because I can bet most of the times when you're having that stuck feeling, you're also probably having a brain that is spinning into the past or into the future. So mindfulness, number one. Number two, when we're feeling that feeling of stuck, or I don't know what to do, or I want to take action, or I'm feeling uninspired to do something now, take a break. Sometimes we're too caught up in the control and the forcing it. I got to push through. I just need to make this happen. And that is usually not a space for our creative energies to flow, for our true selves to express ourselves. When we're in that place of the forced um, pushing through, good things rarely happen from there. We tend to get bogged down in shoulds, in self-doubt, in self-pity, in self-blame. Um, And so instead of being stuck in that space, instead of trying to just force it, take a break because the time we're wasting in that spinning of I should be able to do this and what's wrong with me and all of that is time we could be spending to step away and rejuvenate. So take a break, not just a quick mindfulness check-in to recenter when that doesn't work, to actually leave, leave the thing you're staring at, leave the question behind, not a break to go and mull it over, but to say, I'm going to check this here and I will come back to it. But right now I'm going to take a break from this. So that may even mean not getting up. It may mean just shifting out of whatever you're working on on the computer into a different task and just letting go of the thoughts for a while. Sometimes though we need a physical break from it. It may mean getting up and walking away, going on a walk, going and doing some other activity, saying I'm going to spend the weekend having fun and come back to this on Monday. But take a break from it, however long we need, to then be able to come back to whatever it is from a fresh perspective and one that hopefully feels a little more energy to take a forward motion and not be in that place of pushing and powering through. Third, when those things don't work, I think it becomes important to say to ourselves, to ask ourselves a question, which is, do I really want this? Whatever this thing is, wherever you're feeling uninspired, whether it's, I need to create this new content. Well, do I really want to be creating new content? I need a new hobby, but I can't think of what it is. Do I really want a hobby right now? Whatever the thing is that you're feeling stuck around and you've tried other things to get yourself into a a better place to find flow with it. If it's not working, I would say, ask yourself, do I really want this? And be honest Look within, let go of the shoulds and all of the other um, voices and ask your own internal knowing, is this something I really want? Is this important to me? And if you're feeling like maybe it's a yes, but you're not sure if it's your yes, then you can do the seven levels of why, where you ask yourself why seven times. Why is this important to me? And then whatever answer comes up, ask why is that important to me? And keep digging to get to that deeper why. And that may help you uncover whether it's your own internal, truthful, important why, or if it's a why related to something that's outside of you and that maybe you're ready to release. If though you get to a place of the answer is yes, I do want this, but I'm still feeling stuck. Final thing I would say to do then is to explore what is the fear. 
if you're feeling that stuck and you're not able to get yourself back into it through, you know, a quick mindfulness check or taking a short break or double checking and getting tuned into the why for it, and you still can't get there, then I think it's about a fear. More often than not, there's some deeper fear that's holding you back, that's keeping you from taking that step into this unknown or in this thing you want, probably because it is outside your comfort zone, which means it's inherently scary. Even if your brain is telling you, well, that's silly. It's not that scary. It's not that big of a deal. Doing anything outside of what we know, what we are accustomed to, what we are comfortable with, is it activates a fear. It activates usually a deeper fear, a deeper fear of being rejected, being embarrassed, not being loved, you know, failing. There's some fear there. So explore that. Sit with yourself again quietly, trying to let go of the shoulds and the outside voices and get into, what is my fear here? What am I afraid of? What's coming up? What do I think that might happen? What do I think that might mean about me? If I do this thing, what might it say about me? Or what might happen if I don't do this thing what might that say about me or what might happen really hear out what comes up sometimes just knowing what we're really afraid of can help us tend to compa- have compassion for validate and love that part of ourselves so that we can then move forward instead of allowing ourselves to believe whatever our trick our brain is playing on us about why we can't move forward, which is usually you don't have the time, you're not really inspired, you don't know what you really want, right? That's usually not the real truth. The real truth is buried deeper in that hidden fear. And when we can, you know, exorcise that to see it for what it is, that can also help us detach from it. So mindfulness, take a break, ask yourself if you really want whatever it is. And if the answer truly is yes, after that deeper level of exploration of your why attached to it, then ask yourself, what's the fear? And see if you can't find it, observe it, give it some love, and then allow yourself to move forward after you're detached from it. I hope these tips were helpful for you. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be back almost every week with more tips around mindset. Thank you.